Good morning, guys. What I'm going to show you today is just a quick morning wake up stretch routine. It's really fast, maybe two minutes. And it's just to help the body transition from sleeping to daytime activity work and so on and so forth. Um, as I say, it's quick, it's pretty easy, but it works the kinks out and gets the blood flowing. It's really important to warm up if you're a morning exerciser. It's really important to make sure you've warmed up the body before you start. But I actually, this is the stretch routine that I do every morning, no matter what it is I'm doing, whether I'm going to a workout or not. So here we go. We're going to start sitting down with our knees bent up. So sitting up nice and tall, holding on underneath the back of your thighs. Tummies are in nice and tight. So sit up nice and tall, pull the shoulders back and down away from the ears. And inhale as you sit up, big breath in. And as you exhale, round the back. So like make a C, the letter C shape with the back of your body, running from the tip of your head down to your bum, right? So the whole back rounds. And inhale, sit up tall again, bring the shoulders down, away from the ears and the tummies are in tight. And exhale and round. So let's float like that a few times. Inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, round. And inhale, sit up tall. And exhale, round. This is really good for making sure the back is all on board. Got so many people suffer from aching backs in one lower back, upper back, all sorts of back aches. So it's really important to warm up the back fully every morning. Okay, one more time as we exhale, round the back. And inhale, come back and sit right here. Okay, we're going to come to a squat. So you bring your feet in right as close to your bum as you can. Okay, and reach your arms forward. Okay, so you're pressing down through your bum right here. The legs are apart. I'm going to turn so you can see from the front. So the legs are apart, right? And you're squatting the hips down, reaching the arms forward. Okay, tummies are still tucked, tucked in nice and tight. This is such a great stretch for the very lower back. Also great for opening up through the hips. A lot of people store tension in the hip and lower back area. So it's great to just ease up that tension. You can even sort of wave gently from side to side to help loosen up through the lower back and the hip area. Okay, so from there we're going to let the hands come down to the floor. You're going to lengthen up through the legs and actually take them a little further apart. And then you're going to lunge side to side. So it's an easy lunge. When you're lunging, you want your hips way back, okay? So that your knees don't come out over your toes as you go from side to side. So tummies are in nice and tight to support the back as you lunge side to side. Okay. So obviously that's getting the warm up going through the legs, making sure um, quads and hamstrings are really warm as well. So a lot of lower back issues are due to very tight hamstrings. Okay, so you need to make sure your quads and your hamstrings are all warmed up as well. Okay, so from there, we're going to stop the lunge, bring the legs in a little bit closer. Knees are very bent, and the hands are going to come up on the thighs. And we're going to do that uh, cat's breath again, just like we did when we were sitting, except that we're in this sort of half squat. Okay, so half squat, working the quads and the hamstrings right here. Tummies are in nice and tight always to support the back. And let's do that cat stretch, uh, cat's breath here. So inhale, lengthen through the back, reaching the chest forward. And as you exhale, round through the back. Okay, so inhale and lengthen, see the back curve. Exhale and round just as much as you can. And flow like that a few times. Inhale and exhale with your own breath, okay? The speed doesn't matter. You flow with your own breath. On your inhale, you lengthen. On your exhale, you round. Inhale and exhale. One more time like that. Inhale and exhale. Now this time as we exhale, we're going to roll all the way up to standing. So roll all the way up to standing. Tummies are nice and tight. Let's grab the hands behind the back and we're going to fold forward. So the hands are behind the back. You're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together at the back. Tummies are nice and tight. There's a little bend in your knees. Your quads are engaged, okay? Quads are strong, squeeze the shoulder blades together the back, and gently fold forward. Quads are engaged, knees are a little bent, so you're not going to overextend through the hamstrings. 
And then once you fold it forward, as far forward as you're gonna fold, you wanna lift your arms up again to open up through the chest, and then you might sink further. Okay, always watch out for these hamstrings. Although my legs might look straight, I'm keeping a little micro bend in my knees to protect my hamstrings, so I'm not gonna overextend through these cold hamstrings, okay? So hands together, squeezing through those shoulder blades. If that's too much, go ahead and release the arms. Just let the hands come to the ground, okay? And if you bring your hands to the ground, that's great. You can even lift up some more through the back of the hips, sit down a bit further. Okay, from there, we're gonna take it into a wide leg down dog. So the legs stay wide apart like they were from the forward fold. Leave your hips where they are, right there directly up from the floor and then just walk the hands forward. Okay, so just walk the hands forward, reach the chest long, but leave the legs where they are. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, and sink. So wide leg down dog is a great pose for releasing tension through the lower back while you stretch all the way up through the back of the legs. Okay, as always, the tummies are in nice and tight to support your back. So that's not only a stretch and a warm up, but it's actually really relaxing, easing any tension that you might have started the day with. All right, so walk the hands in, bend these knees again, more of an exaggerated bend, bring the hands up, and we're gonna roll back up to standing. Good, and release it, okay. So that's your morning wake up routine, you're ready now to have a workout.